Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have really great exponential equation 8 to the x minus 2 to the x all over 6 to the x minus 3 to the x equal to 2. And maybe a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, I can easily solve this challenge by inspection, I can easily find this root right here, but in terms of mass, we interested in a solution, not about inspection method. So right now let's try to solve this challenge, let's try to write our solution step by step and right now let's let's try to solve it. First of all, let's express this 8 and this 6 in another way. Right here we have 2 and 3. This 8 can be written as 2 cube and this 6 can be written as 2 times 3. So somehow we can get closer and closer to the same basis. So let's do this right here. So first of all, this 8 can be written as 2 cube right here. Okay, so we have 2 cube to the power to the power x. This is our 8, uh, 8 to the power x minus 2 to the power x. So absolutely the same 2 to the power x. Okay, and all over right here, what do we have? 6 can be written as 2 times 3. So we have right here 2 times 3. To the power x and minus 3 to the power x equal to 2. Right now we need to remember or we need to learn about power rules right here. This is a special case and this is the special case. When we raise this 2 to the power 3 to the power x or 2 cubed to the power x we need to multiply our powers. Okay so as a result what do we have right here? We have 2 to the power 3x okay minus 2 to the power x. This is our, our numerator. And right now we need to divide all of the thing by, right here, when we have a product inside parentheses and we raise this to the power x, we need to raise both of these elements to the power, to the power x. So as a result, what do we have right here? 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x and minus 3 to the power x equal to so this is, our, this is our first step. I hope you understand this. Right now, let's factor from our numerator. Let's factor 2 to the power x. We can easily do this. Right here we have 2 to the power 3x, 2 to the power x. So we can easily factor our 2 to the power x. Okay, what do we have as a result? As a result, we have 2 to the power x. And inside parentheses, what do we have? 2 to the power not 3x by 2 to the power 2x. Okay, 2 to the power 2x and minus, minus 1. Okay, minus 1. And in our denominator, what we will have as a result? Let's factor 3 to the power x from here. We will have as a result 3 to the power x behind this parenthesis. And inside parenthesis, we will have 2 to the power x minus 1. Okay, 2 to the power x minus 1 and equal to, equal to 2. Really great. What are we going to do next? Right now, 2 to the power 2x minus 1. Okay, let's write, for example, right here, instead of this 1, let's write 1 square. It changed nothing, so let's do this right here, so let's write this square. But if you look closely, it changed nothing on the first side. But if you look closely, this is our identity. Uh, we can easily write this as 2 to the power x square, so let's do this right now. So we will we, we find our identity right here. So as a result, we have 2 to the power x behind this parenthesis and inside parenthesis. 2 to the power 2x can be written as 2 to the power x, okay, 2 to the power x square and minus 1 square, okay? This is this is the tricky moment right here. And we divide all of the thing by 3 to the power x, okay, by 3 to the power x and times 2 to the power x minus 1, 2 to the power x minus 1. Really great, equal to equal to 2. Right now, this is our identity, a square minus b square. Everyone should know this formula. This is very basic school formula, a square minus b square. This is equal to, for example, we can start with addition. Yeah, we have right here a plus b times a minus b, a minus minus b. So right now, let's apply this formula right here in these, inside these parentheses. So let's do that right now. As a result, 2 to the power x behind this parenthesis and inside parenthesis, we have a product a plus b times a minus b. In our case, a 2 to the power x, b is 1. So as a result, 2 to the power x plus 1, yeah, and times 2 to the power x minus 1. Okay, minus, minus 1. And all over, all over this expression, still in this expression, 3 to the x. So we didn't change it, so it's, it's really great. So times 2 to the power x minus 1. One. Really great. Right now, I want to mention one really important moment. Basically, we have a lot of multiplication sign and basically we're multiplying a lot of expression. So it means that we can easily cancel 2 to the power x minus 1 and this 2 to the power x minus 1 because we have all the time multiplication. So we can easily cancel 2 to the power x minus 1 and 2 to the power x minus 1. But we need to notice that 2 to the power x minus 1 is not equal to 0 because we cancel in, uh, by this expression. So 2 to the power x is not equal to 0. From here, 2 to the power x is not equal to 1 and from here our x is not equal to 0. 
Okay, so right now we mentioned that x is not equal to 0, and basically this is very clear because we have a denominator 6 to the power x. We had uh, in the beginning 6 to the x minus 3 to the x. This is our denominator, and if you plug in 0, we have 1 in our denominator. So we can easily write that our x is not equal to 0. Okay, really great. Right now let's continue. x is not equal to 0. Let's, let's continue. So let's write this expression. We still have... 2 to the x times this expression. So let's do this right now. So I wanted to split this solution because this is like a second second step. We cancel this expression and x is not equal to 0. Right now let's continue. What do we have right here? 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x plus 1. 2 to the power x plus 1. And all over we have in the numerator, numerator we have 3 to the power x. 3 to the power x. Okay, 3 to the power x. And this is equal to this is equal to 2. Right now, what are we going to do in this case? Let's multiply. We're going to multiply 3 to the x on both sides to eliminate it from our denominator right here. So let's multiply both sides by 3 to the power x. When we multiply it from left side, we can easily cancel this 3 to the power x. But let's let's write it. Let's write its whole, whole explanation. So I want you to understand this. So right here, we multiply 3 to the power x by this expression, 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x plus 1, okay, and we divide all of the thing by 3 to the power x, okay, 3 to the power x. And we need to multiply it on both sides, because we didn't, like, want to change expression, we want to multiply it on both sides, so 2 times 3 to the power x. Right now, if we look closely, 3 to the power x and 3 to the power x, we can easily cancel. That's why we do this, okay? We need to eliminate this 3 to the power x from our, from our denominator. So right now, let's divide both sides by this 2, okay? As a result, let's rewrite our expression. What do we have right now? We have 2 to the power x times this parenthesis. We still have this, okay? Times 2 to the power x plus 1 and equal to 2 times 3 to the power x. This is our expression after this, canceling 3 to the power x. And right now, let's divide both sides by, by 2. Okay, let's divide both sides by, by 2. When we divide both sides by 2, as a result, we can easily write it in our denominator, and from, from here we can easily cancel this. Okay, let's do this right now. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x plus 1. We divide our left side by 2, and equal to... 2 times 3 to the power x, we divide by, by 2. I want to write it step by step. I want you to understand this, this approach. So from here, we cancel this 2. And as a result, this 2 to the power x and this 2, so right here we have first power. When we bring this 2 to the first power from our denominator to numerator, we have 2 to the power minus 1. And as a result, we can write it as 2 to the power x minus 1. Okay, so let's write it right here. So as a result, we have 2 to the power x minus 1 times 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to equal to 3 to the power x. This is our expression. So right now I'm going to find this x. We're going to split our area of our real roots right here and we, we will find our x. So let's do this right now. From the previous step, we know this is our expression. x is not equal to 0 and I'll, I'll write this question once more. So we have this expression and let's let's continue. Right now, first of all, I want to split our solutions by three parts. So saying in another words, let's look closer right here. So this is our line of our of our solutions. We know that x is not equal to 0. So let's write, for example, right here, let's write, let's write our 0 and we avoid, we reject this 0 right here. But we are talking right now about integers. So let's, let's check 1 from here when x equal to 1. And let's check when x is equal to 2 or greater than 2. Okay, so from, from 2 to to this, to this part, to plus infinity. Let's check this part. Let's check when x equal to 1. x is not equal to 0. We know, we already know about it. And let's check uh, negative solution. Okay, so right here we want to check also a negative, negative roots from here to minus infinity. So let, right now let's for better understanding, let's split our, our solution by three parts. But first of all, let's check when x is greater or equal than 2. Let's do this right now. So our first step is to check when x is greater or equal than 2. This is our first approach. x is greater or equal than greater or equal than 2. Let's write our expression right here. So we have 2 to the power x minus 1, okay, times 2 to the power x plus 1, equal to 3 to the power to the power x. Right now, when x, x is greater or equal than 2, let's look closely what do we have right here. x minus 1 in our power we have. When x is greater or equal than 2, we have a power of these two. But I want to say one really important moment. Doesn't matter what power do we have right here when we have x minus 1, yeah? 
2 doesn't matter with what we have power, 2 every time is even number. So you have like 2 to the power 13, you have even number. This is like an even value, okay? Doesn't matter, you can easily check it in a table of this power of 2. This is also really great you to check about it. So this is even, even number. Doesn't matter what power. Maybe power is even number, power is odd number right here. Doesn't matter, 2 to this power is even number. Right now, let's look closely about this parenthesis. We have 2 to the power x plus 1. Okay, let's, let's look at it. 2 to the power x we already know that um, 2 to the power x when x is greater or equal than 2 is even number but when we add to this even number when we add 1 we have odd number okay so this is our odd odd number and 3 to the power x when x is greater or equal than 2 is is our odd number okay is our odd number and right now even number times odd number when we multiply it we have we have a parenthesis right here so when we multiply it as a result even number times odd number this even number even number and this is equal to, need to be equal to odd number. Okay, and really great right now, even number is not equal to odd number. So right here we'll have like no, no, no solution. As you can see real quick, we, we check a really huge amount of values right here when two, when 2 and 2 plus infinity. So right now let's let's write something like that, that we cancel this cancel this uh, this part okay so when two or plus infinity we don't have we don't have solution right now let's check real quick one and let's in the last step let's check our minus uh, my negative solutions okay let's do this right now so our second step is to check when x equal to x equal to one let's do this right now when x equal to one let's plug in instead of this in this expression let's plug in one okay saying so in other words we're going to plug in x equal to one into this expression into this into this expression in the beginning so as a result we have two to the power x minus one times two to the power x plus one and equal to three to the power x absolutely the same expression right now let's plug in when x equal to one let's do this right now so we have two to the power one minus one times two to the power one plus 1 equal to 3 to the power 1. Very obvious thing right here. So right now let's find what we have right here. We have 2 to the power 0, okay? 2 to the power 0 times 2 to the power 1, 2. 2 plus 1 equal to 3, yeah? And equal to, equal to 3. 2 to the power 0 equal to 1. 1 times 3 equal to 3. So we have 3 equal to 3. So as you can see, x equal to 0 is our solution to this challenge. So really great. But we we will write our final answer in, in one minute. So we, as you can see right here, we find our x x equal to 1. And maybe a lot of students find this challenge in, in their inspection method. This is really great. But as you can see, what about solution? Solution is a little bit complicated. So but you need to know about about this solution. So it's really great when you when you solve this challenge, not when you uh, find a solution by inspection method. And right now the third step right here. So we check this 0 which is really great so as you can see we find our first solution and right now the final step when when we have negative negative value right now let's write it as uh, x equal to minus n for example let's write it something like that when x equal to minus n this is our negative all negative solutions okay and right now n is greater or equal than one Okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter right here, uh, because when x, when n is positive, our, our substitution x is equal to minus n is negative. So we need, we want to consider, we need to consider our positive n, because we, when we consider n is negative, we will have minus minus, we have plus. Okay, so when, I, when n is positive, our substitution looks like, looks like that. Right now, let's write once, once more our final expression. So we have 2 to the power x minus 1, okay, 2 to the power x minus 1 times 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 3 to the power x. Right now, instead of this x, let's plug in, let's plug in x equal to minus n. Let's do this right now. So we have, we have right here from the new line, from the new line right here, we have 2 to the power minus n minus 1. Inside parenthesis, we have 2 to the power minus n plus 1. Okay, equal to 3 to the power minus minus n. So as you can see, we're going to plug in, instead of this x, we're going to plug in, we're going to plug in minus n. Okay, right now, let's simplify this a little bit. First of all, let's uh, factor from here minus 1, and we write it as, as a parenthesis. So we have as a result 2 minus, and inside parenthesis, we can write it as n plus 1. Okay, n plus 1 right here. Okay, but inside parenthesis, let's bring this 2 to the power minus n inside our, in, on our denominator. So as a result, we have 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 and the same thing with this 3 to the power minus n equal to 1 over 3 to the power n 
Really great. What are we going to do next? We, we have this minus right here, but when we bring this expression from our numerator to denominator, we can easily cancel this minus, okay? So as a result, because we need to change sign when we go from our numerator to denominator and in a reverse way, from denominator to numerator. So as a result, we have 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1. And inside parentheses, let's add this expression, okay? Let's do this. So as a result, we have 2 to the power n is our common denominator. And as a result, our, our expression looks like that in our numerator, 2 to the power n plus 1, okay? When we add these expressions. And equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Really great. Right now, the final step, let's multiply our expression. We have a multiplication sign, so we can easily multiply our uh, both expressions. So as a result, let's do this right now. This is equal to... Right here we have 2 to the power n plus 1, this is our numerator, 2 to the power n plus 1, this is our numerator, and we divide all of the thing by 2 to the power 2n, when we multiply this expression we have 2 to the power 2n plus 1, okay, 2 to the power 2n plus 1, equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Right now, cross-multiplying right here. Finally, we can easily apply cross-multiplying, and as a result, what do we have right here? Cross-multiplying 3 to the power n times 2 to the power n plus 1, okay, and in the second step, in the second side, we have 2 to the power 2n plus 1. Right here we have plus 1, yeah, I read something like that, we have 2 to the power 2n plus 1, we have right here. And not like that, because maybe someone uh, don't understand this step right here, we need plus 1 right here. Right now, final step right here, this is odd number, because when n is, uh, when n is, we wrote before that n is positive right here, okay? n is greater or equal than 1, so when we consider 3 to the power n, n is an odd number. Okay, really great. 2 to the power n plus 1, this is also odd number, as I told before, we consider this 2 to the power n as even number, when we add 1, we have, we have odd number, really great. And 2 to the power 2n plus 1, doesn't matter what we have right here, this is our even number, and we considered it when n is greater or equal than 1, okay? We, we need to consider it, I explained it before about it, because we consider x equal to minus n, so we can easily consider n is positive. When we plug in positive value, we have minus, and we need to consider it right here, a negative, negative value. Right now, odd number times odd number equal to even number, which is absolutely incorrect. So as you can see, when we consider a negative solution, we can easily reject this part because this is like not possible. We have absolutely, absolutely wrong expression. So the final step, x is equal to 1. This is on, only one root right here. x is not equal to 0. We proved it before. We check positive values uh, after 2 and we check negative values. Okay, so our x, our x is equal to x is equal to 0, so right now let's prove it, let's check it real quick. This is very obvious to check because uh, a lot of students can easily check it by, by inspection, 2 to the power x and equal to 2, and we have our denominator, 6 to the x minus 3 to the x. When x is equal to 1, what do we have right here? 8 minus 2 over 6 minus 3 equal to 2, which is absolutely, absolutely correct. As you can see right here, we have 6 over over we have 3. So equal to 2, which is absolutely, absolutely correct. So let's write our final answer to this challenge. Final answer. This is one and only one root. We check all of these cases before. Okay, so x equal to x equal to 1. This is a solution to this challenge. A lot of students maybe mm, expected a real quick solution in, in one minute because they say that correct answer is uh, x equal to 1 and that's it. But as you can see, a little bit like complicated uh, complicated uh, solution to this challenge, a little bit tricky solution, so I hope you understand it, I hope you learned something new. You can also write a question down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you for your time, thank you for your support, see you in the next videos and have a great day.